I'm used to the company Brooke here doing stuff like this, like the wingman converters. You know, they made a bunch of different converters to use tons of newer controllers on old consoles or previous generations consoles, controllers on the next generation so you could use arcade sticks and stuff like that. And I'm a big fan. I love the stuff that Brooke does, but I'm not sure about this. So Brooke did send this out to me, their wireless headset for purpose of review to check it out. And I think I received this a while ago. It was like in a box somewhere. So my bad, you know, I should have had this done a while ago, but we're gonna check it out today. How the hell do you review a headset in a video? Well, I'll just give you guys my thoughts. We're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna test it out. Uh, we'll check out the mic too. I'll give you some audio from the mic. See how that, or you can't see audio necessarily, but you'll hear it through your ears. I'll give you a sample of that. But here you go, you know, 50 millimeter audio drivers, you feel that extra bass and stunning audio sound, wireless adapter, 2.4 gigahertz, you know, low latency, that kind of thing. Uh, cozy ear pads, we got some soft protein ear pads. Does that mean these ear pads are buff? I don't know, but hey, I'll put up, uh, you know, the information, the specs, so you can see that. But let's open this ish up and check it out. Microphone's detachable, I do like that. Now. You know, when it comes to audio, I'm not an audiophile. Not at all. I do like having some quality audio. When I game, I don't really like using headsets too often, unless I need to. I do have tons of different headsets I've tried, you know, PlayStation's headsets, various other companies' headsets, and there's some that I've liked and disliked, and most of the time, the reason I dislike them is because they don't fit right, or they're uncomfortable for an extended period of time type of thing. These actually, they do look a little buff here, so I'm hoping they fit my big ass head right. But here we go, man. You know, when it comes to a headset, I just want crisp, clean audio. You know, everything just nice. Not muffled, tinny, or anything wonky like that. So yeah, let's check these out. This, These do look a little premium. I believe these are $80. I mean, not crazy premium, but better than, uh, a lot of headsets that I've looked at recently. Hey, we got replacement. Hey, they give you some, uh, they give you some replacement earmuffs. <laughs> nice, there we go. That's, that's good, that's good. Get an extra set. Are they different? No, I think they're the same. It's just an extra set. That's kind of nice. I'm always having to buy uh, like extra sets like these for my, my kids' headphones and stuff as replacements. There's a detachable thing. So, I mean, it's nice when, hey, a headset comes with one, right? Little, oh wow, I thought I broke that for a second. Holy crap. Very, uh, you know, move that around. Where does that plug in at? Right over yonder. And it's like, you can only put it a certain way there you go. You got some buttons down there. M mute the mic, power button, charge, USB-C, volume up and down. 3.5 millimeters so you can wire it, I suppose. There's that. Hey, we get like a little, I think this is a, a little baggy. Okay, okay. There you go, the little Brook Iguana looking dude. A little, a little leather looking bag. I don't know if they killed any cows for this. No, they did. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's like a synthetic fake leather there. So this is a vegan headset. Here's your dongle action. The Brook logo. Hell yeah. And what, what do we have? Oh, is this just a charge cable? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, is it branded? Is it branded? No, it's not. That's okay, it's not branded, but it's USB-C so, so you could charge. All right, we got a little bit of a mess here. I kinda like this. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on my big head. You got the uh, extension, right? Okay, metal construction on the side here. Nice cushioning, some decent looking purple stitching on the top. But yeah, this cushioning feels all right. The earmuff, the earmuff blockers, the cushioning, like it's not too stiff. It's not too soft. It might just be like the three bears. It's just right. 
I think, but I don't know. I'm gonna put it on my head. We're gonna test it out, so let's do that. But I, I do like the look of this. It's supposed to have RGB, which, uh, you know, gamers. Use this on your PS5, your Switch, your PC, whatever. Have that glowing, breathing RGB that you can't see, but other people could see it and know that you're serious about what you're doing. So here we go, the final part of the video where I give you my thoughts on using this headset. And I've used it for the past three hours or so. And I am recording audio through the microphone. And I have listened to some samples from it. And honestly, it's not bad, but it's not great. It's better than some other microphones that I've used that are built into a headset. So there's that, passable for in-game chat, I think. It's okay, a little omnidirectional microphone. Now, my biggest pro, like thumbs up, is the comfort of these things. Yes, those those protein, beefy, cozy ear pads, like they feel good. I have like six other headsets lying around me and I hate using headsets. I just don't like using headphones for anything. They drive me nuts because they just annoy my ears. My ears get red and achy and, and just, ugh top of my head like there'll be pressure and I get a headache these are comfortable so okay they feel fine to wear they're comfortable but what about the audio it doesn't matter how good they feel on your head if they sound like shit then who's gonna want them right well let's just keep our expectations in check here I don't think Brooke is taking over the world in this space you know the 50 to 100 dollar wireless headset space but I think what they've produced here is okay there's nothing special. You're not getting simulated seven to one audio, 3D audio or anything like that. But what you are getting, what they advertise, I feel is fair. The frequency response, it might be a little off what they list here, but it seems fairly accurate. The transmission delay, you know, I've watched things, people talking and, you know, it, everything matches up. I'm not like, okay, this person's mouth is moving and I'm noticing the audio coming out later. Nothing like that. I feel they're fine. The microphone sounds okay. They're, they're just standard. It's a difficult space to jump into. Brooke is definitely not taking over the world with this headset. With expectations in check, understanding, hey, they're comfortable. They're decent quality for what you're getting. You, you'll probably be happy with them. But if you want to spend a little more to get more features, that may be the way to go. That's all I got to say. I think they're okay. Just not mind, you know blowing or anything or ear shattering nothing like that but they're okay they're all right let me know what you guys think bye